This is our food scene is so happening and, and, and hip and diverse. I think the art scene here is as well. They are true artists. They live amongst the wood that they carve. Um, they have such a passion and they're so not into promotion. I um, work with salvage bits of wood from the clear cuts here, trying to transform it into, you know, a work of art that, you know, nature basically did most of for me. You know, I just do a little to it to kind of make it come around and show the face that I saw was already in it. We have a very unique spot here, and that's the carving shed on Chesterman Beach. Alors, je suis arrivé ici uh, en l'an 2000. J'avais essayé, j'avais uh, exploré différents médias, médiums. Et puis, uh, c'est ça. Uh, J'ai rencontré Henry. Je suis venu ici. Il m'a montré la sculpture uh, pendant à peu près quatre ans. C'est comme ça que j'ai commencé à faire la sculpture. Oh, I dug out canoes and I make uh, like that bentwood box right there. And we do uh, like these these carvings on bentwood boxes like this here. Usually they're crests that uh, people will choose after I talk to them about uh, what is uh, our culture is about and, and what the totem poles and these crests mean to us. Gorgeous local art, the pottery and the burl wood bowls. I started learning how to carve when I was nine and learned, learned of my dad first and as I grew older I went and ventured out on different artists and picked up different techniques. Right now I've been working with Mark Nicky in a series called the, the Mirrors of the Ancient Rainforest. And then the other collaboration that we're most known for around Fino is one with Sol Maya, the glass blower. He did huge two and three foot rays that we put around a six foot face of the sun. It lights up at night when the sun goes down. Uh, the people are the best, the culture is thick, and uh, it's just a beautiful place. I just love it. It's like new energy all the time. It's, it's like fresh creative spirit comes from the, from the front end of the island. It's like you are always got nature blowing at you, so it always like cleans away what isn't important and leaves you pretty empty and free to create. You can go to a, a gallery or even find a, a special artisan that you like and, and buy something that's made by hand. And to me that's special and, it, and, and if you take some of that back with you, it, it brings back the memories that you have when you, you leave this special place.